guys, it's Nerdo Life, the gamer investor, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna play another gameplay of Act Razor Renaissance. Um, we are in episode two right now. Last episode we were just playing, uh, learning how to play the game. We uh, did a 2D platform uh, version of the game right now. Uh, last episode, I think today we're gonna be going through the sim type gameplay. So I uh, can't wait for that. As always, guys, please. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this episode, the game, and all that fun stuff, guys, and let's play. Offer guidance. Alright, let's uh, wield a miracle. This one. Find a stranger lying unconscious near the ruin of the monster lair. You sealed. We just him back to help, and when he woke, he named himself to notice. Try to share with us a tale most strange. He claims he ruled these lands centuries ago, until by magic, dark he was cursed to sleep Okay, wow. This is new. I don't remember any of this. But Lotus. So this is where you pray to your vaunted Lord of Light. This is an impressive temple indeed. Yet wasteful, for praise will avail you not. Hey, look not to the gods, for only men can save themselves in the end. Who does he think he is to speak such blasphemy in the presence of a master near the life? Shall manifest to reprimand him at once. Mortal, you would do well to mind your tongue in this holy place. I say, where did this child come from? I am no child, you impudent fool. I am an angel in the right hand of master near life. Lord of light. Who I am sure is looking very cross at you right now. An angel, really? Then the gods really exist. Well, I'll be. Amen. Forgive me, O Lord, for my earlier er, commentary. I am a stranger to the Filmarins, yet they came to my aid without hesitation. Such kindness must be repaid. You would agree? As you can doubtless see, I am a man of action. If you, f you fiends in need of attraction, to oblige. Though like in matters, he does not want for confidence. He's willing to fight our foes, then you may as well take him up on his offer. Okay. If I may master new life, why not leave the people to their own device to improve their settlements? Alright, let's This away. Now let's offer guidance. Look at him grow. So cool. There you go. Let's do a miracle. Destroy this tree. some guidance. Ooh. Or something strange has been happening to me of late. I have been experiencing visions of things that have not yet come to pass, but invariably do. Just now I glimpse the most terrifying future. A horde of monsters and army of lord marching on our settlement. And your sacred temple. All-knowing lord, these visions are your work, are they not? You have heard your warning, but we not know what to do. 
Since when have you been sending the Filmorans widgets? This is new! <laughs> Master Nier, don't lie. I gather from your expression that this was not your work. Nevertheless, I would not be surprised if the fiends here to revenge themselves upon your people for the destruction of their lair. Pardon me, O oh Lord, but I believe I may have a search if it please. Okay. This settlement is not equipped to withstand an organized attack. That much is plain. Therefore, I will teach your people how to construct forts as mine did centuries ago. Wow, they can have forts now, huh? Reward. Fort Innovation. Gatehouse. A tome to find the process of gatehouse construction. Fort Innovation. Blockhouse. A tome to tend the process of blockhouse construction. I'm given to understand, Master No Life, that forts are structures which serve to protect the settlement from monsters. However, in order to build forts, you will first need to amass sufficient materials which are in turn produced by workshops. Okay. Fortunately, your children are well aware of this necessity and will construct workshops as the summit grows and expands. Though they will, of course, benefit from your guidance in this. Oh, and any materials produced by the workshops, I should be happy to gather for you. Huh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Master Nerla, it appears your people have accumulated sufficient material for forts. Managing your forts are invaluable structures which serve to bolster your defense. Forts of monsters. Press Smash Fort to proceed. After left clicking build fort, markers will appear indicating where the fort can be placed. Locations marked in red are already occupying the other structures. If you elect to place a fort in such location, it will be demolished. Fireplace you can use next or previous to select the type of fort you construct. Gatehouses, these forts can be placed on roads. They serve as formidable barracks against encroaching monsters. <coughs> Blockhouses, these forts can be placed alongside roads. They serve as which archers can fire upon distant enemies. Okay. Why don't you instruct your children to build a gatehouse to the north of the temple? It goes without saying that the temple is the beating heart of the sound. One well, building that cannot surrender to the fiends at all costs must be defended. Okay. Manage forts. Eureka fortification. Upgrade fort. Oh, okay. Confirm. Cool. Look, O oh Lord, we have built a new fort to defend our home. We thank you for your guidance, O oh Lord, and noble flow with us, our skills of knowledge. This is one of the vaunted forts of a lotus. For all their faults and frailty, mortals can be quite adept at devising means to defend themselves. Just keep stinging. You may have not noticed, Master. A number of your people have some trifling concerns. Should you be so inclined, perhaps you might listen to their prayers. How do we do that? Oh, wow. I have to say, Master, that this almost has grown leaps. Bounds. Wait, do you see that? To the north, smoke black as pitch, rising. Oh wow. Oh Lord, hear our plea, our quarrel between your foolish children. To one setting the other house on fire. If it spreads and all we have built our entire settlement could be reduced to ash. We beg of you, O oh Lord, to save us from this fiery fate. Since soothing rains to quench the flames, it's too late. Ah, fire, I would explain it. Remarkable. The court satisfied for a petty cause. In any event, she's right. This is fresh. 
should spare them further suffering with a miracle of rain. Okay, let's do that. Let's have a miracle. Soothing rain. Boom. Thank you, Lord, for the gentle rains you brought forth. It's one of the raging parts of hate that. So, long shall we celebrate this demonstration of your boundless love and mercy. With that, the trials are no more. They are fortunate to have a patron deity willing to soothe their self inflicted hurts. I swear, start a fire in your own cell. Name. Only beg the gods to put it out. Preposterous, illogical, and yet only endearing. Or am I alone in thinking so much in my life? I don't know. Oh! Legendary Chronicle of Lotus Statue. A scroll that can be used to increase the level of Lotus of Fillmore. Oh, really? Cool. How much in your life? I see you have acquired a Legendary Chronicle. This is new. I like it. These highly colored items can be employed to enhance the abilities of Lotus and other allied units. Select inventory from the main person. Reuse the items in your to chronicle thereby increasing an allied unit's level and their attributes. You would do well to avail yourself of these chronicles' power that they come into your possession. Master Nerd Alive. Alright. I mean, what's that? How that would be a palisade. Master Nerd Alive. A rudimentary means of defense against monsters' attacks. This means. Frail turn a small measure to protection. Still, they are far better than nothing at all. We put into a mass a good supply in advance of the next inevitable assault. Oh gosh, you just keep thinking. Can't make a decision. <laughs> all right, resolute for it stands finished. We have made what preparations we can for the coming slaughter. So, Lord, we beseech you, bless and keep us safe. Come now, take a deep breath and relax. We built defenses to ensure that your vision wouldn't pass, that there would be no slaughter. And besides, you have me. Have I not pledged myself to your cause? Sworn to fight with every ounce of my strength. I took my turn life, a horde of monsters. This is the man for Saw. He marched on the settlement. Quest, victory, endure the horde's assault. Temple destroyed. Okay. Parts of this quest, the enemy will launch an attack on the soul. Let's proceed. You have legend products in your place that may be used to strengthen your eye. Use Chronicle. Yeah, let's use it. Hey, she means password. Okay. Okay. I guess. Go to level 3. Let's gain the level. Zero. Okay. Settlement siege. Well, this is new. Oh my gosh. Um. Uh, dang it. Let's proceed. I guess. Brace yourself, master nerd of life. Tangerous minions approach. As we speak. Absent our aid, the people of Hillmar will surely be slaughtered to a man. We cannot let that happen. Let us bring our parts to bear against the horde and deliver your chosen from certain death. Settlement defense. Beat back the monster horde and claim your victory. You must make use of every tool item. Hordes, allied units, lotus, and miracles. Enemies will attack the settlement from multiple directions. If they reach your temple, they will attempt to raise it to the ground by reducing its shape to zero. If they succeed, the game will end in your defeat. The well, force will automatically engage any enemies within range. Any other units to the location you wish to defend as well. At the same time, place. Wow, this is a lot. My goodness, really, I cannot provide support with my bow and arrows for these battles. I have faith in the combined might of your miracles. And both the Lotus will carry the day. Okay. Your guard, Master Nerlef, a party of fiends now come from the north. Their aim is as we free they march for the temple. Let us hope the gatehouse will hold fast against their incursion. 
Land ally. See, wield miracles. If we halt their movement. Deal damage and energy attack speed. Let's see which should... Oh, look at that. Your children go to your foster gate house. For now, it seems they will advance no further. We must forget they are mere mortals. Should the adversary commit an overwhelming force, your children will be easily swept aside. They fall, then the monster pass through the gatehouse and proceed unobstructed to the temple. In this tragic event, Palisades will serve well to delay their arrival. My break is that me laid the crossroad to stop and back in their tracks. Select, select the toy Palisades fallen by the lich. Be warned that Palisades deal no damage to the enemy. It serve only as to stop. It can be a short after which the enemy will be free to resume their advance. Trojan will do their utmost to fashion an additional palisades during the battle. When they are ready, direct me to collect them. Oh shoot. Let's make a miracle. Let's put up palisades here. Alright, let's build a miracle. Look, Master of Life, another raiding party prepares to attack from the east. Like the others, it will doubtless make sure a forest. Perhaps Philos can work with them. Oh man. These Philos are powerful units that will automatically move towards and engage enemies within range. These units possess special techniques that deal heavy damage and they can also be used to reinforce and enhance forts. Select Command Ally and follow by their desired destination. Proceed towards that location, attacking any enemies within that range. Capacitive allies. Should your ally suffer significant damage, reduces their they will be in capacity for a time. During this period, they will be unable to move or engage the enemy. Be graduate work recovery and eventually they will be able to rejoin the fight. Okay, there are there are thing. Let me do a miracle. Oh, lightning! They're in the north, and you guys in the fourth mass mirror life. Chaos will surely fall if forced to defend against so great an army. Divine miracles can turn the tide. The time has come to smite the feet on your heart. Defending the summit with miracles. Miracles may be bought very in defense of your people, doing tremendous damage to enemy and applying the tremendous effect as well. Before using a miracle, you can confirm its effectiveness. Please via the up in ah. Oh. In case the miracle can deal heavy damage to your enemy for a while, so you should temper your expectation. Moreover, your divine focus guarantees that during battle only. Subject to your miracles, wrath. Your people and their structures will suffer no damage. Okay, good. Miracles cannot be used in rapid succession. After using one, you will be unable to use another for a brief period. Be mindful of this limitation when deciding where and what to rely upon. Palisade. Let's deploy Palisades. 
around here. How many better saves do we have? We have we don't have another one. Alright. Yes! Notice. All right, let's move him here. All right, let's finish it off. Yes, SP. I need one more. That was it. That was kind of easy. I like this. <laughs> it's not just a whole remake. I guess it's like a reboot, I guess. All right. Good job, guys. Ah, was that the last of them, my friends? I think we've won. Huzzah, Lotus. Your fighting was an inspiration. We would have never managed to hold off the fiends without your help. I cannot thank you enough. Think so? Well, far be it for me to stop you from trying. Hmm. Would it not be more prudent for them to first sing the praise of their loving Lord of Light? Though I cannot dispute that, and its considerable contribution, he is a credit to his fellow mortals. Alright. Who's your card for Lewis? This card is going to be used to Lewis. Oh, plus 50 Faye. All right. Oh gosh. What happened here? All right, let's save it. All right, guys. I'm going to end this episode here. Um that was pretty nice. You know, it's actually much different now from uh the previous SNES game. They added these spawners and these um, more uh, additional like sim games. So um, with uh, your bases gets attacked and all that stuff. Um, I like it. Uh, yeah. I mean that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always please let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this episode, this game and all that fun stuff guys. And Thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in another episode of At Racer Renaissance. Bye bye guys.